Lake Constance, refers to three bodies of water on the Rhine at the northern foot of the Alps, Upper Lake Constance, Lower Lake Constance, and a connecting stretch of the Rhine, called the Lake Rhine. These water bodies lie within the Lake Constance Basin, which is part of the Alpine foreland and through which the Rhine flows. The lake is situated where Germany, Switzerland, and Austria meet. Its shorelines lie in the German states of Baden Wurttemberg and Bavaria, the Swiss cantons of St. Gallen, Thurgau, and Schaffhausen, and the Austrian state of Vorbeck. The Rhine flows, as Alpine Rhine, into the lake from the south, with its original course forming the Austro Swiss border, and has its outflow on the lower lake where, except for Schaffhausen, it forms, as High Rhine, the German Swiss border as far as the city of Basel. The most populous towns on the upper lake are Constance, Friedrichshafen, Bregenz, Lindau, Ubelingen, and Kreuzlingen. The largest town on the lower lake is Radolfsel am Bordensee. The largest islands are Reichenau in the lower lake, and Lindau and Mainau in the upper lake. While in English and the Romance languages, the lake is named after the city of Constance, the German name derives from the village of Bodmen, in the northwesternmost corner of the lake. Chapter 1 Description Lake Constance is the third largest freshwater European lake in surface area, after Lake Geneva and Lake Balaton, in central and western Europe. It is 63 kilometers long, and, nearly 14 kilometers at its widest point. It covers about 536 square kilometers, and is 395 meters above sea level. Its greatest depth is 252 meters, exactly in the middle of the upper lake. Its volume is about 48 cubic kilometers. The lake has two parts, the main east section, called Obersee or Upper Lake, covers about 473 square kilometers, including its northwestern arm, the Ubelinger Sea, and the much smaller west section, called Unterzee or Lower Lake, with an area of about 63 square kilometers. The connection between these two lakes is the Sea Hein. Geographically, it is sometimes not considered to be part of the lake, but a river. The lower Lake Constance is loosely divided into three sections around the island of Reichenau, the two German parts, the Naden Sea north of the island and north of the peninsula of Metnau, and the Zeller Sea, south of Radolfsel and to the northwest of the Reichenau island, and the mainly Swiss Rhine Sea, not to be mistaken for the Sea Hein at its start. To the south of the island and with its southwestern arm leading to its effluent in Stein am Rhine. The river water of the regulated Alpine Rhine flows into the lake in the southeast near Bregenz, Austria, then through the upper lake Constance hardly targeting the Ubelinger Sea, into the Sea Hein in the town of Konstanz, then through the Rhine Sea virtually without feeding both German parts of the lower lake and finally feeds the start of the High Rhine in Swiss town Stein am Rhine. The lake itself is an important drinking water source for southwestern Germany. The culminating point of the lake's drainage basin is the Swiss peak P. Rassane of the Todi Massif of the Glarus Alps at 3,613 meters above sea level. It starts with the Creek Auer de Rassane. Car ferries link Romanschorn, Switzerland, to Friedrichshafen, and Konstanz to Meersburg, all in Germany. Chapter 2 History Lake Constance was formed by the Rhine Glacier during the Ice Age and is a Zungenbecken or Tongue Lake. After the end of the last glacial period, about 10,000 years ago, the Obersee and Unterzee still formed a single lake. The downward erosion of the High Rhine caused the lake level to gradually sink and a sill, the Constance Schwell, to emerge. The Rhine, the Bregenzer Atch, and the Dornburner Atch carry sediments from the Alps to the lake, thus gradually decreasing the depth and reducing the extension of the lake in the southeast. In antiquity the two lakes had different names, later, for reasons which are unknown, they came to have the same name. In the 19th century, there were five different local time zones around Lake Constance. Constance, belonging to the Grand Duchy of Baden, adhered to Karlsruhe time, Friedrichshafen used the time of the Duchy of Württemberg, in Lindau, the Bavarian Munich time was observed, and Bregenz used Prague time, while the Swiss Schur used Bern time. One would have needed to travel only 46 kilometers to visit five time zones. 
Given the amount of trade and traffic over Lake Constance, this led to serious confusion. Public clocks in harbors used three different clock faces, depending on the destinations offered by the boat companies. In 1892, all German territories used set, the Austrian railways had already introduced set the previous year and Switzerland followed in 1894. Because traffic timetables had not been yet updated, set became the sole valid time around and on Lake Constance in 1895. Chapter 2 Section 1, Name The Roman geographer Pomponius Mela was the first to mention the lakes around 43 AD, calling the upper lake Lacus Venetus and the lower lake Lacus Acrinius, the Rhine passing through both. Around 75 AD, the naturalist Pliny the Elder called them both, Lacus Rishi Brigantinus after the main Roman town on the lake, Brigantium. This name is associated with the Celtic Brigantii who lived here, although it is not clear whether the place was named after the tribe or the inhabitants of the region were named after their main settlement. Amianus Marcellinus later used the form Lacus Briganti. The current German name of Bordensee derives from the place name Bodmen, which probably originally derived from the old High German Bodemen, which meant on the soils, indicating a place on level terrain by the lake. 500 This place, situated at the west end of Lake Ubelingen, had a more super regional character for a certain period in the early Middle Ages as a Frankish imperial palace, Alemannian ducal seat, and mint which is why the name may have been transferred to the lake. From 833-834 AD, in Latin sources, the name appears in its Latinized form Lacus Potamicus. Therefore, the name actually derived from the Bodmin Falts was wrongly assumed by monastic scholars like Wallafred Strabo to be derived from the Greek word Potamos for river and meant river lake. They may also have been influenced by the fact that the Rhine flowed through the lake, 501 ff Wolfram von Eschenbach describes it in Middle High German, as the Bodmonsee or Bodensee which has finally evolved into the present German, name, Bodensee. The name may be linked to that of the Bodan Ruck, the hill range between Lake Ubelingen, and the lower lake, and the history of the House of Bodmen. The German name of the lake, Bodensee, has been adopted by many other languages, for example, Dutch, Bodenmeer, Danish, Bodensen, Norwegian, Bodenstein, Swedish, Bodensjon, Finnish, Bodinjavi, Russian, Polish, Yezoro Bodensky, Czech, Bodamsk Jazero, Slovak, Bodamsk Jazero, Hungarian, Bodini II, Croatian, Bodensko Jazero, Albanian, Likonii Bodinit. After the Council of Constance in the 15th century, the alternative name Lacus Constantinus was used in the Romance language area. This name, which had been attested as early as 1187 in the form Lacus Constantiensis, came from the town of Constans at the outflow of the Rhine from the Obersee, whose original name, Constantia, was in turn derived from the Roman Emperor, Constantius Chlorus. Hence the French, Lac de Constance, Italian, Lago di Costanza, Portuguese, Lago de Constanca, Spanish, Lago de Constanza, Romanian, the Col Constanza, Greek, Lambda Iota Mu Nu Eta Tau Eta Sigma Kappa Omega Nu Sigma Tau Alpha Nu Tau Iota Alpha Sigma, Limnitis Constantias. The Arabic, Buira Constans and the Turkish, Constans Golu, probably go back to the French form of the name. Even in Romance-influenced English the name Lake Constance gained a foothold and was then exported into other languages such as Hebrew, Yamat Constans and Swahili, Ziwala Constans. In many languages both forms exist in parallel for example Romanche, Lega Constanza and Le Boden, Esperanto, Constanca Lago and Bodin Lago. The poetic name, Swabian Sea was adopted by authors of the early modern era, and the Enlightenment from ancient authors, possibly Tacitus. However, this assumption was based on an error, the Romans sometimes used the name Mersubicum for the Baltic Sea, not Lake Constance. In times when the Romans had located the so-called Swabi, then an Elba Germanic tribe near a sea, this was understandable. The authors of the early modern period overlooked this and adopted the name for the largest lake in the middle of the former Duchy of Swabia, which also included parts of today's Switzerland. 
Today the name Swabian Sea is only used jocularly as a hyperbolic term for Lake Constance. Chapter 2 Section 2 Key Facts No Paleolithic finds have been made in the immediate vicinity of the lake, because the region of Lake Constance was long covered by the Rhine Glacier. The discovery of stone tools indicate that hunters and gatherers of the Mesolithic period frequented the area without settling, however. Only hunting camps have been confirmed. The earliest Neolithic farmers, who belonged to the linear pottery culture, also left no traces behind, because the Alpine foreland lay away from the routes along which they had spread during the 6th millennium BC. This changed only in the Middle and Late Neolithic when sure settlements were established, the so-called pile-dwelling and wetland settlements, which have now been uncovered mainly on Lake Ubalingen, the Constance Hopper and on the Obersee. At Unteruldingen, a pile-dwelling village has been reconstructed, and now forms an open-air museum. Brave finds from Zingen am Hohentwil date to the beginning of the Early Bronze Age and shore settlements were repeatedly built, during the Neolithic period and the Bronze Age. During the following Iron Age the settlement history is interrupted. The settlement of the shore of Lake Constance during the Hallstatt period is attested by grave mounds, which today are usually found in forests where they have been protected from the destruction by agriculture. Since the late Hallstatt period, the peoples living on Lake Constance are referred to as the Celts. During the Latine period from 450 BC, the population density decreases, as can be deduced partly due from the fact that no more grave mounds were built. For the first time, written reports on Lake Constance have survived. Thus, we learn that the Helvetians settled by the lake in the south, the Rhetians in the area of the Alpine Rhine Valley, and the Vindelici in the northeast. The most important places on the lake were Bregans and today's Constance. In the course of the Roman Alpine campaign of 1615 BC, the Lake Constance region was integrated into the Roman Empire. During the campaign, there was also supposed to have been a battle on Lake Constance. The geographer, Pomponius Mella, makes the first mention in 43 AD of Lake Constance as two lakes, the Lacus Venetus and the Lacus Acrinius, with the Rhine flowing through both. Pliny the Elder referred to Lake Constance as Lacus Brigantinus for the first time. The most important Roman site was Bregans, which soon became subject to Roman municipal law and later became the seat of the prefect of the Lake Constance fleet. The Romans were also in Lindau, but settled only on the hills around Lindau as the lake shore was swampy. Other Roman towns were Constantia and Arba Felix. After the borders of the Roman Empire were drawn back to the Rhine boundary in the 3rd century BC, the Olimoni gradually settled on the north shore of Lake Constance and, later, on the south bank as well. After the introduction of Christianity, the cultural significance of the region grew as a result of the founding of Reichenau Abbey, and the bishopric of Constance. Under the rule of the Hohenstaufens, imperial diets were held by Lake Constance. In Constance, too, a treaty was drawn up between the Hofenstaufen Emperor and the Lombard League. Lake Constance also played an important role as a trading post for goods being traded between German and Italian states. During the Thirty Years' War, there were various conflicts over the control of the region during the Lake War. After the War of the Second Coalition, which also affected the region and during which Austrian, and French flotillas operated on Lake Constance, there was a reorganization of state relationships. Chapter 2 Section 3 Historical Maps 1540, the map Lacus Constantiensis by Johannes Zwick and Thomas Blairer shows topographic names, towns and the Rhine. 1555, the map of the route of the Rhine by Caspar Vopel includes a topographical map of Lake Constance with its larger towns, the tributaries and the course of the Rhine. 1633, the Swabian map by Johannes Jansenius, Amsterdam, Totius Svevi Novissima Tabula shows Lake Constance with islands, tributaries, towns and villages. 1675, the Lake Constance map, Lassus Acronianus Sive Bodamicus, 
by Nicholas David Hout based on Andreas RZSJ shows Lake Constance with the adjacent lands. Chapter 3, Geography Chapter 3 Section 1, Divisions Lake Constance is located in the foothills of the Alps. The shore length of both main lakes is 273 km long. Of this, 173 km are located in Germany, 28 km run through Austria, and 72 km through Switzerland. If the upper and lower lakes are combined, Lake Constance has a total area of 536 square kilometers, the third largest lake in Central Europe by area after Lake Balaton, and Lake Geneva. It is also the second largest by water volume after Lake Geneva and extends for over 69.2 kilometers between Bregenz and Stein am Rhein. Its catchment area is around 11,500 square kilometers, and reaching as far south as Lago di Lei in Italy. The area of the Obersee, or Upper Lake, is 473 square kilometers. It extends from Bregenz to Bodmin Ludwigshafen for over 63.3 kilometers, and is 14 kilometers wide between Friedrichshafen and Romanshorn. At its deepest point between Fischbach and Utfill, it is 251.14 meters deep. The three small bays on the Forbeck shore have their own names, the Bay of Bregenz off Hard and Fussach is the Bay of Fussach and, west of that is the Wetterwinkel. Farther west, now in Switzerland, is the Bay of Rorschach. To the north, on the Bavarian side, is the Bay of Reutin. The railway embankment from the mainland to the island of Lindau, and the motorway bridge over the lake border the so-called Little Lake, which is located between the Lindau village of Iskak and the island. The northwestern, finger-shaped arm of the Obersee is called Ubelinga Sea, or Lake Ubelingen. It is sometimes regarded as a separate lake, the boundary between Lake Ubelingen, and the rest of the upper lake runs approximately along the line between the southeast, tip of Bodenruck and Meersberg. The Constance Hopper lies between the German and Swiss shores east of Konstanz. The Obersee and Untersee are connected by the Seerhain. The Untersee, or Lower Lake, which is separated from the Obersee and from its northwest arm, the Ubelinger Sea, by the large peninsula of Bodenruck, has an area of 63 square kilometers. It is strongly characterized and divided into different areas by end moraines, various glacial snouts and medial moraines. These various areas of the lake have their own names. North of Reichenau Island, is the Naden Sea. West of the island of Reichenau, between the peninsula of Hori, and the peninsula of Metnau, is the Zeller Sea, or Lake Zell. North of the peninsula and swampland Metnau lies the lake part Markelfinger Winkle. The drumlins of the southern Bodanruck continue along the bed of these northern parts of the lake. South of the Reichenau, from Gottlieben to Ischens, stretches the Rhine Sea with strong Rhine currents in places. Previously this lake part was named Lake Banang after the village of Berlingen. On most of the maps the name of the Rhine Sea is not shown, because this place is best suited for the name of the Untersee. Chapter 3 Section 2 Emergence and Future The present-day shape of Lake Constance has resulted from the combination of several factors. The tectonic Lake Constance Basin between the Alps and the Jura was created in the Jurassic and Tertiary periods. The current Alpine Rhine was initially a tributary of the Danube. Over time, the basin was captured by the High Rhine as a result of headward erosion. The capture was not always only along the present Rhine Valley, Lake Ubelingen marks part of an older valley course. The river valleys were deepened during several cold periods by the Rhine glacier from the valley of the Alpine Rhine. Behind the present impressive traces of the warm ice age, the effects of older cold periods can no longer be explored in any detail. Lake Constance now represents, above all, a Zungenbecken or glacial lake of the warm glaciation. During a later phase of the ice age, only the Obersee was glaciated. As the glacier retreated further, the glacial meltwaters flowed out of the emerging Ubelingen Sea through the older more northerly valley into the present High Rhine Valley. 
Due to the advancing headward erosion, the present course of the High Rhine was finally reconnected to Lake Constance. Like any glacial lake, Lake Constance will also silt up by sedimentation. This process can best be observed at the mouths of the larger rivers, especially that of the Alpine Rhine. The silting up process is accelerated by ever increasing erosion by the Rhine and the associated reduction in the level of the lake. Chapter 3 Section 3 Tributaries The main tributary of Lake Constance is the Alpine Rhine. The Alpine Rhine and the Seahine do not mix greatly with the waters of the lake and flow through the lakes along courses that change relatively little. There are also numerous smaller tributaries. The most important tributaries of the Obersee are the Dornburner Atch, Bregenzer Atch, Lieblach, Argen, Chusen, Rotok, Seefelder Ark, Stockacher Ark, Salmsacher Ark, the Ark near Arben, Steinich, Goldach and the Old Rhine. The outflow of the Obersee is the Seerhain, which in turn is the main tributary of the Unterzee. The most important tributary of the Unterzee is the Radolfzeller Ark. Because the Alpine Rhine brings with it drift from the mountains and deposits this material as sediment, the Bay of Bregenz will silt up in a few centuries' time. The silting up of the entire Lake Constance is estimated to take another 10 to 20,000 years. Chapter 3 Section 4, Outflows, Evaporation, Water Extraction The outflow of the Unterzee is the High Rhine with the Rhine Falls at Schaffhausen. Both the average precipitation of 0.45 cubic kilometers slash A and evaporation which averages 0.29 cubic kilometers slash A cause a net change in the level of Lake Constance that is less when compared to the influence of the inflows and outflows. Further quantities of lake water are extracted by municipal waterworks around the lake and the water company of Bordensee Wasserver Sorgung. Chapter 3 Section 5, Islands in Lake Constance there are 10 islands that are larger than 2,000 square meters. By far the largest is the island of Reichenau in the Unterzee, which belongs to the municipality of Reichenau. The former abbey of Reichenau is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, due to its three early and highly medieval churches. The island is also known for its intensive cultivation of fruit and vegetables. The island of Lindau is located in the east of the Obersee, and is the second largest island. On it is the old town and main railway station of Lindau. The third largest island is Maynau in the southeast of Lake Ubelingen. The owners, the family of Bernadotte, have set up the island as a tourist attraction and created botanical gardens and wildlife enclosures. Relatively large, but uninhabited, and inaccessible because of their status as nature reserves, are two islands off the Wolmertinger Reed, the Tribold in Jabol which has an area of 13 hectares and Mittler or Langbol which is just 3 hectares in area. Smaller islands in the Obersee are Dominican Island separated by a 6 meter wide ditch from the old town of Constance which is home to the Steigenberger Hotel the tiny island of Hoy near Lindau. The 10 artificial islands on the Rhine Causeway on the Fussach side. The little island by the port of Romanshorn. The Walschweininsel by the sea park in Kreuzlingen in the Unterzee R. The islands of Verd, Mittlerer Wordly and Untes Wordly which together form the Verd Islands group are located at the outflow of the Rhine from the Unterzee at Steinem Rhine into the High Rhine. The so-called Liebesinsel, southwest of the Metnau Peninsula. Chapter 3 Section 6, Peninsulas in Lake Constance there are several peninsulas which vary greatly in size. The Bodanrock, the largest peninsula, separates the Ubelinger Sea from the Unterzee. It covers an area of 112 square kilometers. The Metnau in the Unterzee, which extends towards the island of Reichenau, separates Zeller Sea in the south from the Markelfinger Winkel in the north. It has a surface area of 1.7 square kilometers. The Hori also extends towards the island of Reichenau, and separates the Zeller Sea to the north from the Rhine Sea to the south. In the southeast, near the mouth of the new Rhine Canal, 
the Rosebitz juts out about 1.2 kilometers into the lake and forms the western perimeter of the Bay of Fusach. It has an area of about 50 hectares. The Vossaberg Peninsula has a castle, Skloss Vossaberg, and the parish church of St. George. The peninsula is on the northeastern shore of the Obersee between the Bay of Nonnenhorn in the west and Bay of Vossaberg in the east. It has an area of 2.3 hectares and was an island until 1720, when the Fuggers built a causeway. In March 2009, 27 people lived on the peninsula. The Galgen Insel in the Bay of Ryutin is also a peninsula that was formerly an island. It is only 0.16 hectares in area. Chapter 3 Section 7, Shore The shores of Lake Constance consist mainly of gravel. In some places there are also sandy beaches, such as the Rosebits in the Austrian section of the lake, the Langenagen and Marienschlut. According to the data of the International Water Protection Commission for the Lake Constance, the approximate shore length is 273 kilometers. The inflow of water is constantly changing, mainly due to rain and the snow melt in the Alps. Its average surface area is about 395 meters above NN. The more or less regular seasonal fluctuations in the water level also lead to slight variations in shore length and differences in the shore's own habitats. Chapter 3 Section 8 Climate The climate of the Lake Constance area is characterized by mild temperatures with moderate gradients, thanks to the balancing and retarding effect of the large body of water. However, Due to the year-round influence of foam winds which causes frequent fog in winter and close weather in summer, it is considered a stressful climate. Lake Constance is also considered to be a risky and challenging lake for water sports because of the danger of gusty winds which can whip up waves as the weather changes suddenly. The most dangerous wind is the foam, a warm down-slope wind from the Alps, which spreads out across the water, especially through the Alpine Rhine Valley and can generate waves several meters high. Similarly dangerous for those unfamiliar with the area, are the sudden stormy gusts of wind during summer thunderstorms. They constantly claim victims from the water sports fraternity. During a thunderstorm in July 2006, waves reached heights of up to 3.50 meters. For these reasons, there is a storm warning system, in all three neighboring countries. For storm warning purposes, Lake Constance is divided into three warning regions. Warnings can be issued for each region independently. A high winds warning will be issued when squalls are expected of between 25 and 33 knots or registering force, 6 to 8 on the Beaufort scale. A gale warning announces the likelihood of gale force winds, i.e. those at speeds as of 34 knots or more or force 8 on the Beaufort scale. In order to issue these warnings, orange-colored flashing lights are installed around the lake, which flash at a frequency of 40 times per minute for high winds or 90 times per minute for gales. It can happen that, due to the differently regulated responsibilities and assessments, a gale warning is issued on the Swiss side of the Obersee, but not on the German or Austrian shores, and vice versa. Ships and ferries on Lake Constance indicate a gale warning by hoisting a stern ballon up the mast. A 100-year event is the freezing over of Lake Constance, when the lower lake, Lake Ubelingen and the upper lake are completely frozen over so that people can safely cross the lake on foot. The three last so-called Siegfrauen events were in 1963, 1880, and 1830. Certain parts of the lake freeze over more frequently, mainly due to their shallow depth of water and shelter, as is the case, for example, of the so-called Markelfinger Winkle between the municipality of Markelfingen, and the Metnau Peninsula. Chapter 3 Section 9, International Borders The lake lies where the countries of Austria, Germany, and Switzerland meet. Beyond areas less than 25 meters deep, considered to be under the jurisdiction of the nearest country, there is no legally binding agreement as to where the borders lie between the three countries. However, Switzerland holds the view that the border runs through the middle of the lake, 
Austria is of the opinion that the contentious area belongs to all the states on its banks, which is known as a condominium, and Germany holds an ambiguous opinion. Legal questions pertaining to ship transport and fishing are regulated in separate treaties. Disputes occasionally arise. One concerns a houseboat which was moored in two states, another concerns the rights to fish in the Bay of Bregenz. In relation to the latter, an Austrian family was of the opinion that it alone had the right to fish in broad portions of the bay. However, this was accepted neither by the Austrian courts nor by the organs and courts of the other states. Chapter 3 Section 10 Floods A 100-year flood around June 1999 raised the level about 2 meters above normal, flooding harbors and many shoreline buildings and hotels. In late August 2005, heavy rain raised the level by more than 70 centimeters in a few days. The rains caused widespread flooding and washed out highways and railroads. Chapter 4, Ecology Chapter 4 Section 1, Flora Until the 19th century, Lake Constance was a natural lake. Since then, nature has been heavily influenced by clearing, and the cultivation of much of the land around its shores. However, some near-natural areas have been largely conserved, especially in the nature reserves, or were re-naturalized. As a result, the Lake Constance region has some unusual ecological features. These include the large forested area on the Bodan Ruck, the occurrence of marsh gentian and orchids of the genera Dactylorhiza and of Orchis in the Wulmertinga reed, and the Siberian iris in the Eriskircher reed, which was therefore given its own name. One unique species among the local flora is the Lake Constance forget-me-not, whose habitat is restricted to undisturbed beaches of lime trees. Chapter 4 Section 2 Fauna Chapter 4 Section 2 Subsection 2 Birds Lake Constance is also the home of numerous bird species, many of which nest in its nature reserves, such as the Wolmertinga reed or the Metnau Peninsula. 412 species have so far been recorded. Equals chapter 4 section 2 subsection 3 songbirds equals The 10 most common breeding bird species at Lake Constance according to a 2000 to 2003 survey in descending order are the blackbird, chaffinch, house sparrow, great tit, blackcap, starling, robin, chiffchaff, greenfinch, and blue tit. Equals chapter 4 section 2 subsection 4 waterfowl equals In spring, the Lake Constance is an important breeding ground, especially for the coot and great crested grebe. Typical waterfowl include the, shoveler, golden eye, goosander, pochard, grey heron, pintail, tufted duck and mallard dot in December 2014, 1389 cormorant were counted. The International Lake Constance Fishery Association estimates the food requirements of the cormorants on Lake Constance at 150 tons of fish annually. Equals Chapter 4 Section 2 Subsection 5 Overwintering Equals Lake Constance is an important overwintering area for around 250,000 birds. Annually. Bird species such as the dunlin, the curlew and the lapwing overwinter at Lake Constance. In the middle of December 2014 there were 56,798 heron, 51,713 coot and 43,938 pochard. In November-December are about 10,000 to 15,000 red-crested pochard and 10,000 great-crested grebe on Lake Constance. Equals Chapter 4 Section 2 Subsection 6 Migration Equals During migration in late autumn there are also numerous loons on the lake. Lake Constance is also very important as a staging post during the bird migration. Bird migration is often inconspicuous and most noticeable when there are special weather conditions that make day migration obvious. Only where there is a prolonged spell of widespread low pressure is it common to observe the congestion of large groups of migratory birds. This can often be observed in autumn on the Eriskircher reed on the northern shore of Lake Constance. 
This is where broad front migration converges on the lake and birds then try to move along the shore towards the northwest. The importance of Lake Constance as an important area for resting and overwintering is underlined by the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology's Radolfsell Bird Observatory, which is the bird ringing center for the German states of Bavaria, Baden Wurttemberg, Berlin, Rhineland Palatinate, and the Saarland, as well as for Austria, and which researches bird migration. Chapter 4, Section 2, Subsection 7 Fish. Around 45 species of fish live in Lake Constance. The annual haul from fishing is 1.5 million kilogram. Unusual species occurring here considering the location of the lake are the whitefish and the arctic char. Fish that are important for the fishing industry are Bowden Sea Falcon Sand Falcon Gangfish Lake Constance Whitefish Grayling Perch Bream Northern Pike Zander Burbot Eel Bullhead Tench Vels Catfish Lake Trout the Bowden Sea Falcon, which was named after Lake Constance due to the great numbers found there, is often prepared whole or as a fillet, in the style of the miller's wife, in local fish restaurants in a similar way to other trout it is also often served smoked. The endemic species, formerly found in Lake Constance, the Bordensee kilch and deepwater char are now assumed to be extinct. Chapter 4 Section 2 Subsection 8 Introduced Species For many years non-native species have settled in the Lake Constance ecosystem and, in some cases, endangered or threatened native flora and fauna. At Lake Constance, non-native species have been increasing annually. Several have been transported from other water bodies as blind passengers on the outside of boats, life jackets, anchor chains or ropes or diving gear. Others have immigrated from the Black Sea or the Danube since the opening of the main Danube Canal. Others have been deliberately introduced. Equals chapter 4 section 2 subsection 9 well-known non-native species equals Even the rainbow trout is not a native fish. It was introduced into Lake Constance around 1880 for economic reasons to enhance the local fauna. Among the foreign species of animal in Lake Constance are the zebra mussel which, since the 18th century, has spread from the Black Sea region across most of Europe and was carried into Lake Constance between 1960 and 1965. After a huge increase in numbers during the 1980s in the Rhine and large lakes, this species is now in retreat today. The zebra mussel causes problems because, among other things, it blocks water extraction pipes. In addition, the species can be a disaster for domestic shellfish, because it competes for their food. Today, according to the Institute for Lake Research, the zebra mussel is also an important food for overwintering waterfowl. In fact, the number of overwinterers has more than doubled in around 30 years. The killer shrimp has spread since 2002 from two sections of shoreline near Hagnau, and immense stayed, over the whole Lake Ubelingen, the whole of the upper lake, and almost the whole Lake Constance and Rhinesey shore. As its name implies, it is a voracious burglar of fish larvae and fish eggs. The most recent example is the little opossum shrimp, only 6 to 11 millimeters long which was found in 2006 in the Fourbeck region of Hard, and can now be found almost all over Lake Constance. It comes from the waters around the Black Sea. It was presumably first transported by ships up the Danube before it spread into the Rhine River system, and entered Lake Constance. The opossum shrimp, which occurs in many places in shoals of several million in winter, are already an influential link in the food chain in Lake Constance. They consume dead animal and plant material as well as phytoplankton, but are also eaten by fish themselves. Today, in western Lake Constance are found, the North American spinicheek crayfish, which was introduced into European waters in the mid-19th century to increase the yield, occasionally the Chinese mitten crab, and in the lake's tributaries, the signal crayfish. As these species of large crayfish are immune to crayfish plague, but spread the pathogen, they are a great danger to native species such as noble crayfish, 
white claw crayfish or stone crayfish. The animals are often undemanding, multiply rapidly and lead predatory lives, thus also posing a threat to various small species of fish. The ISF has been systematically researching the subject since 2003. Chapter 4 Section 3 – Wrecks on the Lake Bed after a collision with the Stadt Zurich in 1864 the wreck of the Jura has lain on the lake bed at a depth of 45 meters off the Swiss shore. In the early 20th century four ships were sunk in the Obersee after being taken out of service, in 1931 the Baden, formerly the Kaiser Wilhelm, in 1932 the Helvetia, in 1933 the Santis and in 1934 the Stadt Radolfzell. The hull of the burnt-out Friedrichshafen was scuttled in 1944 off the mouth of the Argon in 100 to 150 meters of water. Chapter 5, Tourism, Leisure and Sports The tourism and leisure industry is important for this region. Overnight stays reached 17,56 million visitors in 2012 with a turnover of about 1.9 billion euros. The same amount comes from the 70 million visitors that visit Lake Constance each year. This region is known for sightseeing, water sports, winter sports like skiing, summer sports like swimming, sailing and recreation. It is also one of the few places where modern Zeppelin airships operate and 12 to 14 people can take a trip above the lake around various points of interest. In cooperation with tourism service providers, tourism organizations and public institutions in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein, the International Bordens A Tourismus GmbH is responsible for the tourism marketing of the Lake Constance region. Chapter 5 Section 1 Sites and Cultural Heritage The lake and the region around it have a substantial touristic infrastructure as well as many attractions and points of interests. Important are especially cities like Konstanz, Ubelingen, Meersburg, Friedrichshafen, Lindau and Bregenz as they are the big hubs for boating tourism. The main tourism attractions are places like Rhine Falls, one of the three biggest waterfalls in Europe, the Mainau Island and Reichenau Island, the Pilgrimage Church Bernau, castles and palaces like Salem Abbey, Meersburg Castle as well as another UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Falbau Museum on Teruldingen as well as Church of St. George, Abertzel, Reichenau. The Alps reach almost to the east of the lake, producing great scenic beauty. The Fandabahn goes from top of the mountain right down, next to the lake in Bregenz. Chapter 5 Section 2 – Cultural Events Lake Constance is the location for the annual Bregenzer Festspiele, a well-known arts festival that, among other venues, takes place on a floating stage in Bregenz. The operas, plays and concerts performed are usually popular works, for example The Magic Flute by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart or Rigoletto by Giuseppe Verdi. Since 2001, the Art Bordenze takes place in Dornburn. It is an annual meeting point for the exchange between collectors, artists and art appreciators. Chapter 5 Section 3 – Biking Biking around the lake is also possible on the 261 km long trail called Bordenze Radweg. It brings its visitors to the most interesting sites and goes around the whole lake. Nevertheless, Various shortcuts via ferries allow shorter routes and the trail is suitable for all levels. Note, there is also a trail that goes by the name Bordenzee Rundweg. This road was intended for pedestrians so biking is sometimes not suitable or allowed. Chapter 5 Section 4 – Hiking and Pilgrim Trails The 260 km long Lake Constance Circular Route signposted as Bordenzee Run Wanderweg, leads around Lake Constance through the territories of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. It is mainly intended for hiking, cyclists follow the sometimes slightly different managed Lake Constance cycle path. The trail can be walked in smaller stages of various lengths and offers nice views of the lake, landscape and wildlife. However, due to industrial settlements, buildings and nature reserves, not all the coastal zones are readily accessible. Furthermore, in the estuary of the rivers, such the Liblach, Bregenzer Ach, 
canalized Rhine and an old Rhine, considerable distances have to be covered inland to the next bridge or river crossing point. Due to busy riverside roads, the Bordensee Rundweg sometimes runs as a trail above the lake with some lookout possibilities. Lake Constance is also a hub for long-distance hikers and pilgrims. It has been a crucial reference point of important pilgrimage routes since ancient times. Via Buronensis, a way of St. James from the Neckar region over the Swabian Alb. The Upper Swabian pilgrimage route of St. James, which leads from Upper Swabia to the lake and branches north of the lake both in the direction of Nonninhorn, and in the direction of Mersberg. The Bavarian Swabian route of St. James, which leads down from the West Allgäu to the lake. The Schwabainweg, which ensures the connection to Switzerland to the lake near Konstanz. Chapter 5 Section 5, Swimming Swimming in the lake is usually possible from mid-June to mid-September. Depending on the weather, the water temperatures reach 19 to 25 degrees Celsius. Within one day, differences of up to 3 degrees Celsius are possible with appropriate sunlight, so that the lake invites to swim, especially on warm summer evenings. Chapter 5 Section 6, Diving Diving in Lake Constance is considered attractive and challenging. Most of the diving areas are located in the northern part of the lake, a few also in the south. The areas should be dived exclusively by experienced divers under the guidance of one of the local diving schools or a seasoned diver. Diving at some spots like the impressive Devil's Table called Rock Needle in the lake in front of the Marienschlut, is only allowed after approval by the district office Konstanz. A famous freshwater wreck in Europe is the paddle steamer Jura, which lies in front of Botiofen at a depth of 39 meters. The canton of Thurgau, the office for archaeology in Frauenfeld, has placed the Jura under protection as an underwater industrial monument. For all divers, the water in Lake Constance, even in summer, is already below 10 degrees Celsius from a depth of 10 meters, which requires suitable cold water regulators that do not freeze at such temperatures. Chapter 5 Section 7, Boating, Recreational Boating The importance of pleasure boating is enormous. At the beginning of 2011, 57,875 amusement vehicles were registered for Lake Constance. The legal basis for all shipping on the lake is the Ordinance on Shipping on Lake Constance, or Bordens A. Schiffahrsordnung. It is monitored on Lake Constance and on the Upper Rhine by the German, Swiss and Austrian Water Police slash Seepolisei. All boats must be registered, and boat drivers must hold a Bodensee Skiffer patent. It is awarded in Germany by the shipping offices of the District of Constance, the Lake Constance District and the District of Lindau, in Switzerland by the cantonal authorities and in Austria by the District Commission Bregens. For pleasure boaters short-term guest licenses are possible. Boating Events since 1979, every year to the Assumption of Mary, Europe's largest ship procession is held on Lake Constance. Every year the spectacular all-around regatta from Lindau to Lindau via Meersberg, Ubelingen, Romanshorn is organized. Since 2009, the annual Water Sports and Sailing Festival International Lake Constanza Week, a joint sports event takes place in Konstanz. In Friedrichshafen, one of the most important water sports fairs in Europe, the Interboot, takes place annually. Chapter 6, Settlements on the Lake Chapter 6, Section 1, Austria Hard Horbrands Bregens Lockau Hoogst Fussach Gissau Chapter 6, Section 2, Germany from the entry of the Rhine, on the northern or right shore. On the upper lake. Lindau. Vosseberg. Nonninhorn. Kressbrunn. Langenagen. Eriskirch. Friedrichshafen. Immenstead. Hagnau. Stetten. Meersberg. Uldingen-Mulhofen. Ubelingen. 
Siplingen, Ludwigshafen, Bodmen, Konstanz with suburbs, Warhausen, Dingelsdorf, Litzelstetten, On the Lower Lake, Reichenau, Allensbach, Radolfsel am Bordensee, Moos, Gehenhofen, Oningen, Chapter 6 Section 3, Switzerland From the entry of the Rhine, on the southern or left shore On the upper lake Alton Rhine, St. Gallen Rorschach, St. Gallen Horn, Torgau Steinich, St. Gallen Arben, Torgau Freisnacht Ignich Samzak Roman Shawn, Artwell, Keswill, Duttingen, Altenau, Landsklucht, Munsterlingen, Skertsingen, Botiofen, Kreuzlingen, On the Sea Hein, Gottlieben, On the Lower Lake, Triboltingen, Ermatingen, Mannenbach, Estlebach, Berlingen, Steckborn, Mammon, Eschens, Stein am Rhein, Schaffhausen. Chapter 7 Fishing The lake was frozen in the years 1077, 1326, 1378, 1435, 1465, 1477, 1491, 1517, 1571, 1573, 1600, 1684, 1695, 1709, 1795, 1830, 1880, and 1963. About 1,000 tons of fish were caught by 150 professional fishermen in 2001 which was below the previous 10-year average of 1,200 tons per year. The Lake Constance trout was almost extinct in the 1980s due to pollution, but thanks to protective measures they have made a significant return. Lake Constance is the home of the critically endangered species of trout Salvolinus profundus, and formerly also the now extinct Lake Constance whitefish.